And then the third, is that a bully in your pocket? <laughs> All right. Let me explain myself. <laughs> in doing the research for this program, I came across a product called Bully Pockets. And I, the name just like totally set me off. It's like Bully Pockets. Wow. So I started to read up on these Bully Pockets, and I realized that for the most part, the application was indoors. Now, I have to tell you, even though I'm a horticulturist, I hate indoor plants. I'm terrible with them, okay? And all the applications that I saw for the most part with these woolly pockets were used in indoor kind of settings. So I was like, oh, here's a challenge. Since then, I've seen some other people using them, but decided to go ahead and play with them just the same. So what's a woolly pocket? Here's a woolly pocket, all right? They're pockets, and they're woolly, right? These are the nine foot segments, and they come in nine foot, seven foot, five foot, and three foot. So basically, you could you know, do your whole garden in woolly pockets if you wanted to. I know it's not lovely. All right, and Wooly Pocket Garden Company, WoolyPockets.com, fantastic product. Little rivets that you go ahead and hang the Wooly Pockets from. Here I am in the middle of the night because I'm running out of time, realizing that I must get something in here because if I don't, I'm not going to have anything to show you tonight. <laughs> so literally, I'm out there with the lights on, as I did when I was 21 and full of energy and just wanted to work all night in the garden. This was a different story. I was not wanting to work the garden all night. I was just afraid I wasn't going to finish. So here we are as we get closer and closer to the very top. Yes, it's amazing you didn't fall off. Oh, yes. We're planting. We're putting the soil into the woolly pockets. Now we're planting the first crop of tomatoes. All right. Yes. Yay. That's the. These are what I call woolly diapers. Yes. These are the woolly diapers that, that I have actually come up with, okay? I think, again, Woolly Pockets needs to do something about that black thing, okay? Right? It's just, it just does not work for me, okay? So, and I know it doesn't work for you too. You want to have color in your garden, right? And I just thought I was going to do this as a vegetable garden. And because most of our vegetables are green, right? I wanted some color. So um, I went to the fabric store and spent gobs of money on different fabrics. <laughs> and the women there looked at me like I was crazy. It's like, you know, um, you really need seven yards of that for what? And it's all felt material, which is excellent with the woolly pockets. One thing to remember about the woolly pockets, 90% recycled um, out of uh, can, uh, coat plastic, uh, plastic cans. Yeah, so it's a really good product for that. Um, so anyway, um, what I'm finding with the woolly pockets, and you might have some questions about why did you put them so far apart because of the, the different segments. And the reason that we did that is because of the, the light. I wanted to make sure I had enough light in between, and also I wanted space to be able to tie the tomatoes and things that needed to be tied back. So that was the reason we did that. So um, now, these, these are not fully planted at this point. They were fully planted um, this afternoon. And <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, I didn't get that last photo. So you just have to go visit me now. OK. See, we do have tomatoes on our woolly pockets. 